In this video, I'm going to go over all the HoneyBook integrations and how you can use them to help your business. So let's dive in. Hi, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer, but I love to help all creatives start and grow successful businesses. And a big part of that is having a streamlined system for client management. So HoneyBook is a wonderful system for this. I've reviewed and tested a bunch of different client management systems, and you can check them all out on my playlist. If you're interested in starting with HoneyBook, I do have a code for 35% off. I'll set I'll put the link in the description of this video for you. So HoneyBook is wonderful on its own for a lot of different reasons. It's really ideal for client management and project management. Uh, but if you want to integrate it with some other systems, I want to show you what you can do here and how you can use them in your business. My absolute favorite HoneyBook integration is this first one, which is Gmail. So if you use Gmail in your business and you use G Suite, then you are going to love this because you can actually bring HoneyBook basically into your inbox. If you use G Suite for your business, it's going to be helpful to integrate so that you can send emails through HoneyBook and get emails really well. You can do this with other systems too, but if you have G Suite specifically, you also can use the HoneyBook Chrome extension. And I have a whole other video on this, but I just want to show you like how easy it is to use HoneyBook in your inbox if you use G Suite. I typically don't for my business, which is so sad, um, but if you do, you can bring HoneyBook basically into your inbox. So when I clicked on this email from Judy Adair, it basically says they're new and they have no projects. Would you like to create a new project? This is all in my inbox. I don't have to go anywhere else. And I can just create a new project. They'll fill in the information. They'll fill in some things if they're in the email or if it's a lead capture from HoneyBook that you're getting an email about, it can go ahead and fill in some of this information. And so then I'll be able to just save this project and then I can go into her project and even check out her files here in my inbox and then go to the workspace directly from there. This is something that none of the other client management systems do and I absolutely love it. So big fan of this Gmail integration. Um, you should definitely do that and also get the HoneyBook Chrome extension to basically bring HoneyBook into your inbox. Another integration that's great is QuickBooks. Um, a lot of the client management systems can integrate with QuickBooks and HoneyBooks, I would say is the best because HoneyBook is its own payment processor. So they don't take out fees or anything from a different processor before those payments go into QuickBooks. For that reason, the integration works fairly seamlessly and I have a longer video on this if you wanna check it out. But in general, I don't think that HoneyBook by itself is a accounting is an accounting platform. So I would definitely recommend still having QuickBooks and integrating it into HoneyBook. If you use a different client management system that uses Stripe or PayPal or anything, then the integration has a little bit of bump bumpiness because the fees that are taken out from Stripe or PayPal or Square are taken out before the invoice is integrated into QuickBooks and you'll have some mismatch numbers there or you'll have to do some manual matching up of those numbers with the fees. It works better in HoneyBook than any of the other systems because HoneyBook processes its own payments. You can also integrate your social accounts and you can use Zapier. So Zapier does have a lot of great HoneyBook integrations that you can use. It's a different platform and you do pay for Zapier, but if you need to connect HoneyBook to any platforms that I'm not showing you here in the integrations, then Zapier is a great place to do that. As an example, um, here are a few things that you can do. You can add your inquiries to MailChimp, you can create Cello projects or Google Drive folders. Sauna task, Dropbox folders, all of these things. So these are some of the popular HoneyBook things that you can do with Zapier if you're not seeing what you want in this integrations tab. One thing that's cool is if you run lead ads on Instagram or Facebook through meta ads, you can actually configure that here so that every time a new lead fills something out from those ads, they're going to create a new project directly in HoneyBook and then they will be here in your products folder. This is super helpful if you're getting a lot of traffic. I think in general, HoneyBook is a really good system if you're working with a lot of different projects compared to some of the other ones because there's more uh, ways that you can upload a lot of different projects as opposed to having to add them in manually. One of those ways is with this leads ad feature. Another would be like uploading them via CSV. Okay, we already talked about the Chrome extension in the Gmail integration. We also have the Zoom integration so you can add video conferencing details when you are using Scheduler. I have another video on 
the scheduler you can check out, but you can use Zoom integration on there to connect your Zoom account to the scheduler in HoneyBook. And then you can also integrate your Calendly calendar with HoneyBook. And when you schedule and book sessions, you'll be able to use the Calendly integration here. However, you can schedule and book all your sessions within HoneyBook for free. So if you're paying for Calendly, um, a lot of the things that it can do can also be done here in HoneyBook. If you're using it in other ways that wouldn't be connected to any of your projects in HoneyBook, then I definitely recommend still keeping that. Uh, but if you are using Calendly just for sessions that are connected with the projects you would want in HoneyBook, then this can likely be done for free and potentially replace your Calendly integration completely. So these are the main integrations with HoneyBook. Again, if you use Zapier, you can do some additional things if there's some systems that you use that weren't featured on this integrations list. Um, Zapier is such a great option for connecting just platforms in general, and HoneyBook is definitely one of those platforms that's popular enough that Zapier has lots of great options. So let me know what other questions you have about HoneyBook. I have tons of tutorials on them on this playlist, as well as looking into some of the other systems that are similar if you're still deciding which one is right for you. And if you do go with HoneyBook, use my link to get 35% off of your first year. Thanks, everybody.